In this Christmas spot, we're going to be having a look at the Toy Biz Spider-Man Holiday Special Spider-Man and Mary Jane box set. Let's go ahead and get the festive tape measure. Well, it's just the regular tape measure. Let's get the tape measure going and figure out how tall these figures are. Spider-Man is about five and a half inches high, while Mary Jane is closer to about five inches high. Now, I know she's also got the hat on, but going from the top of her head, I'm going to say she's about five inches. The set was released back in 1997 by the folks over at Toy Biz and featured the holiday special versions of Spider-Man and Mary Jane. It's a limited edition piece. Uh, it's only one of 35,000. Only 35,000, which actually does seem like it's a pretty high number. 35,000 of these were produced, and uh, to find them actually nowadays are pretty, pretty easy. I found these on eBay. Let's look at the accessories or the things that come included with this this holiday special set. For starters, we got ourselves a Spider-Man magnet, a snowflake magnet, or shaped like a snowflake to be exact. And there we have Spider-Man wearing his Santa hat and a very smiley, happy Mary Jane along with him. That's actually such a nice magnet, I'm going to probably put that on my fridge for this Christmas and pretty much all year round because I don't really take magnets off my fridge. You get a magnet. You also get a sack of loot in which looks like there's a Spider-Man figure, there's a candy cane, and another wrapped present. It is cardboard, so you can just take it out really if you if you don't, you know, if you don't want it. Kind of looks like it's a Spider-Man gingerbread man. But again, it's just cardboard, so you can put that to the side, leaving you with a somewhat velveteen sort of sack, which I suppose you could put all the things in there. It's it's got an elasticized um, elastic opening there. And uh, there's a little loop here that you can also put around Spider-Man, or for that matter, you can also put that around Mary Jane's shoulders as well. Let me also just say too, that Spider-Man didn't come with a display stand. I had to cheat. I used a display stand because this guy has the toughest time standing. The culprit really being these kind of faux, <laughs> they're really embarrassing, these faux leather booties that they've put on Superman's feet. And you can take them off if you, you know, if you don't want them on Spider-Man. It's just simply a case of sliding them off like so. And then you've got regular Spider-Man feet underneath. I suppose it does add to the effect and the, the festivity of it all. But still, it doesn't really make for standing him all that easy. You know, so we just go ahead and put that back on his, on his feet. Yes, it is a regular Toy Biz Spider-Man figure. Very crude in design. Has a certain uh, certain nostalgicness, I suppose, looking at it. But it's just basically a Spider-Man figure that they've also put a belt on, and they've glued. Let me say this: they have glued a Santa hat on his head. You can even kind of see how everything's been glued to it, the top of his noodle. And again, there's no way to really take that off. Which is okay because if you collected the Toy Biz Spider-Man figures back in the day, like I did. Um, you know, you probably have enough of these anyways to go around that to have a holiday version of Spider-Man is pretty cool. Though, again, he's very on the crude side. His face is very blocky, which is one thing I've noticed with the old Toy Biz figures. Very blocky looking head Spider-Man. The webbing and everything else isn't terrible, although the blue looks like it's just been kind of airbrushed on. Literally, it looks like it's been airbrushed on. Uh, several different shades also of blue and purple have been added to the blue so it kind of gives it more of a metallic sort of sheen when you're tilting it back and forth. Uh, on the back side I've noticed though more of the blue is really faded on this figure or really poorly done in the first place because it really doesn't look at much like blue. In fact it looks closer like it's transitioning into the red. Spider Emblem there as well. Very crude articulation on these guys as well. Although I have to admit, to the praises of Toy Biz, they gave them at least articulation in the elbow. So you got your head rotation, your arm rotation, hinges in the elbows, a very loose elbow on this side. Look at this. Look at this sad state of affairs. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. On the other side, 
at somewhat of a tighter joint. I don't really know what he's doing here. It looks like he was shooting webs, but then his fingers broke off. Instead, they look like they've given him almost like a... I don't really know what he's doing. It looks like he just got... He went to a, a Christmas party, for example, and they stamped his wrist. And he's spending a lot of time looking at the stamp that's on his wrist. At least that's what I think. Articulation on the legs, hinges on the knees, and would you believe he actually has hinges also in the feet. And there's Spider-Man. Santa Spidey. I don't know what we would call him. Santa Spidey. Oh, there we go. Now I can get him to stand. It's a Christmas miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. Let's look at Mary Jane here. Uh, who fares, dare I almost say, fares a little worse, uh, unfortunately, when it comes to the figure release here. Not really a whole lot of Mary Janes going around. Unfortunately, this one's not one of the better ones. Um, of course, it probably would have made use of a Mary Jane, and then simply they've just glued every area that they could with this faux fur. Does, it doesn't work so terribly around the skirt area, although a little messy around the wrist area, but at least it gets the point across, and considerably uh, very bushy, very full amount of, of the cloud-like fur that's been around, added around the boots. Probably to the level of excess myself, just thinking, personally. But it's, uh, it is a little on the full side there. Also got the... Now, uh, before we get to up here, the skirt is, a, is more of a material as well as the belt. Though the arms, the torso is all plastic. It's just simply painted plastic. The skirt is actually a fabric that's been glued on. Like, everything on this has been glued. But I want to go back to the fur here. The fur that they've, it literally looks like they just cut a strip of it. Like almost like a strip of Velcro if you ever buy like a spool of Velcro. Just cut off a strip and just put on a dab of glue and just ran a strip of this fur across the chest. It looks really, really just clumsily applied. Again, okay, so let's look at the face. The face isn't terrible. Although she has a permanent look like she's either really surprised or she's been blinded by a Polaroid flash. Ooh! I mean, the, the face isn't terrible. It kind of looks like Mila Jovovich with red hair. The hair is almost the color of, I would say, like toffee, candy toffee. It's very artificial in color, but again, it really goes with the rest of the figure here. And much like Spidey, She's also got the glued hat on her head. To a testament, actually, to the figures, the hats are pretty good material-wise. It's more just that traditional material that you would see probably if you ever have like a stocking hanging on the fireplace with care in the hopes that St. Nicholas will soon be there. Uh, it's that same sort of material. And it looks like there's a little bit of dollop of glue or something on her hat. Boy, that just ruins the figure for What's the figure for me? Well, let's have a look at her, at her articulation. Her head is on a rotation, but because of the nature of the head and the way that the hair is, it feels like it actually angles downward when you are rotating the head. By the way, I'm not faking this. That's as far as articulation goes on the head. Arms rotate all the way around. She also has a bend at the elbow. Uh, nothing in the waist. Board and back on the legs. And a bend at the knee. No articulation on the ankles, no articulation on the ankles, but at least she's got peg holes on the undersides of her feet. For final looks, let's see if we can actually get the bag here, Santa's sack, over top of Spider-Man here, or at least look, making it look somewhat, somewhat like he's carrying this. There we go. And then I guess while we're at it, let's fill the, the sack with care. Put that back in there. Now Spider-Man can deliver some gifts to the kids, and why not? Maybe even to the Sinister Six. You know, everybody has to be given a chance at Christmas time, even corrupt villains. Let's get them to stand properly. It is a Christmas miracle. I can get Spider-Man to stand. Yay! Christmas miracles. Yes, for 2017's Christmas, I bring the gift of nostalgia in the form of retro toys. That's about the only thing you can really label these as, is nostalgic retro-ness. 
because really, quite frankly, the figures are very basic in their design. The faces aren't great, the bodies are very basic in their design, and again, all that fur that's just been slapped all over the place on both of these figures make this a set that perhaps has been tucked away at the back of Santa's workshop. This isn't necessarily the gift that's going to be given to Billy or Johnny this year. This is probably going to be the gift that's going to be collecting dust at the back, maybe given to a naughty child. In all honesty, it's not a bad set for what year it would have come out. Certainly by today's standards, these two figures look and feel a little on the dated side. But it is the holiday season, a time to put differences aside and to look at the, the coming year with a brand new perspective. I thought it would be fun to kind of go back and have a look at a 1997 release as we have a look today at the Toy Biz Spider-Man Holiday Special. Get your hands on this quickly. It's limited to 35,000 pieces. I'm sure there's still 34,000, possibly 867 of these still floating around if you get a chance to pick these up for yourself. Uh, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe to this channel, you're missing tons and tons of Christmas goodness. Of course, we have a look at other things on this channel as well. But during the holiday season, I want to spend a lot of time looking at Christmas-related goodies as well. So if you haven't had a chance, hit that little subscribe button down below. You'll never miss future videos coming onto this channel. And be sure also to go back and check out all the other Christmas spots that I've done so far for this year, as I've also put playlists on this channel for not only this year's Christmas spots, but all the previous Christmas spots as well. They're all categorized by year. If you want to go back and comment in, the, in those videos, it always is nice to see old videos get new comments. Thanks for watching as you always do, guys. I'll see you guys next time.